Hello everyone, and welcome to Figure Review. Kicking off my look at WWE Elite 30, we have the man himself, the one in 21 in one, Brock Lesnar. Now of course this Brock Lesnar is based off the feud leading up to WrestleMania, uh, where he unfortunately defeated The Undertaker and broke the streak. Uh, right off the top we have the insane... Uh, screaming Brock Lesnar scan. Uh, personally, my favorite one thus far. It represents, you know, everything that Brock's character is. Just an insane maniac of destruction. We have the uh, Eat, Sleep, Conquer, Repeat shirt. Uh, I think the text is a little tight up there. I think they should have filled it out a little more. Uh, nothing on the back, sadly. Uh, an awesome addition I did not expect. Uh, as Mattel has been doing less and less of this due to budget reasons, but we actually got cloth track pants, which is pretty, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, real quick, before I get rid of the entrance attire, I just wanted to show you guys uh, the Toys R Us exclusive uh, WrestleMania 30 Brock Lesnar. Uh, I think the text on this is way better, uh, filling out the entire shirt, and I wish they kind of would have did that with the Elite 31. Uh, this one, as you can see, he's got the smile and scan. Not my favorite thing, but I get it, because he was smiling after he beat Undertaker, so. Between the two of them, you could probably put together your ideal Lesnar figure, depending on what accessories you like, but just wanted a quick preview of that. Uh, the bodies are the same on both of them, so I'm not going to bore you with showing them both without the uh, attires on. But uh, let me get rid of Brock's entrance attire, and I'll be back to take a look at the rest of the figure. Alright, and there he is. And there's the shirt on its own, and of course the very cool pants. Alright, so this is the usual, uh, there's no really any new parts. Uh, the, uh, this is the first, this and the Toys R Us, one of the first elites we're getting with the blacked out trunks. Uh, I do like the blacked out trunks better because they at least got the logos on them, those red and black ones. Although you guys know I love red and black. They're boring without any designs on them. You see, got the nice big Brock logo on the back there. Uh, and the usual stuff, shoulder tats, sword on the chest. Uh, some of my favorite details they do on Brock is the Fear the Fury on the wristband and the Lesnar on the gloves. I think that's the really cool details to have in there. And then, of course, right down to his blacked out boots. So overall, probably my favorite Brock yet from Mattel. Um, I still never got my hands on that ringside exclusive Brock, and I think I'm going to do that and do some head switches. So maybe there'll be some new customs to fix up soon dealing with all those situations. But I thank you guys for watching. I especially thank you guys uh, who have been watching the PWS action specials I've been putting on. Uh, I would like to do more, and uh, like I said, I really appreciate you guys watching those. And please stay tuned for more videos.